Good morning everyone. Welcome to day four. Um, it is the 2nd of April, Thursday. And today we are intending on gratitude for oneself. Um, so this is your self-esteem. This is your uh, um, focusing on your uh, yourself. So your, um, your power, your uh, intuition, your, yourself as a creator, yourself as a manifesto, you're, you're, you're looking after, again, this is like the, the spiritual side of the, um, the um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, it's around self-esteem and we always have to, you know, you have, you have to look after yourself. You've got to fill your own vessel um, in order to give. Um, and, and one of the needs is to look after yourself, that self-care. Um, and today our, we're intending on our, our gratitude for ourself. Um, we're going to use the forensic healing system um, as a group healing. So if you want to get into a comfortable position somewhere, you won't be interrupted. Um, thank you for joining us who's uh, tuned in today and those that are watching the replay. Um, find yourself a if it's somewhere that uh, you won't be interrupted. Lying down is perfect um, and you can just listen to the words. Um, again, I'll omit some of the words. Um, just You don't need to listen. You don't need to hear every single word uh, <clears throat> just for the integrity of the um, uh, modality and um, just know that it's alive and it's real for you and energy works like that if there's an intention um, then the energy that holds is energy and it is alive and it's real for you so uh, thank you for joining and let's begin so this uh, also relates to the heart chakra which is the green energy of color um, I'm wearing green today so thank you again so we'll begin with connecting to the higher sources and we do this by breathing and focusing on our expansion. So just close your eyes and feel your breath. Now with your next breath, just feel the air inhaling through your nose. Hold it and exhale through your mouth. And just to begin to imagine a white light coming towards you from above. And just letting this white light enter the crown of your head. This warm white light filling your head filling going past your eyes and your nose and your mouth just relaxing your jaw filling the space between your ears and down your spine just allowing yourself to relax Relax your shoulders and your arms, allowing this energy to flow through your, to your fingertips and down your chest. Filling your lungs, filling your heart, just relaxing you as it continues down your body past your stomach, this beautiful white light into your sacral area, past your hips, down your legs, just relaxing every muscle as it goes. Down the backs of your calves, over your knees and your shins, just relaxing your legs and your feet this beautiful white light just washing over the soles of your feet and off your toes into the center of the earth just seeing it like tree roots 
spiral down into the center of the earth and connecting to our earth energy as we are connecting to source energy as of from above. Continue to breathe. Just feeling connected as above, so below. And as you breathe in, bring the energy up from the center of the earth and down from source energy. And just bringing it back to the center of your heart. Breathing in this energy. And with every next breath, just imagine this energy expands outside of you. Expands into the entire bedroom that you're in or room or home or environment. Expanding out into the neighborhood, feeling this warmth from your heart, sending compassion to every living creature and every living being. Feeling this energy expand into the, your country and the whole earth. This is your energy. Feel that compassion, feel that connection. Feel that gratitude, feel the love. Continue to expand this energy from your heart center. Expand it beyond the universe, beyond our local stars and planets and sun. Keep expanding. Just feeling a rich sense of expansion and connection. Know that anything you want, anything you feel you want in life, your goals, your aspirations, comforts, and they're available to you. And just feel love and compassion for yourself. Know that the universe always has your back. Is always moving and changing to deliver exactly what you want and feel. And just know that you can change this energy within yourself. And when you're feeling a little low, just call upon the greatness of your being. Call upon this expanded energy and invite them into your space for healing, for growth, for fulfillment, for love, acceptance, for support. And invite your non-physical family to join us, just so soul honored. And just know that you are supported. And we connect to the higher source I'm using your, your name. <clears throat> I amber allow myself to be a pure and clear conduit and connection to all that exists, all organic energy, light source energy, all universal powers, all enlightened beings and guardians. I request for this healing to be in your highest good in this group. I now confirm access to divine matrix and protection. Thank you. Divine guidance and blessings. Upgrade of the DNA blueprint. Thank you. Access to the healing and protective world. Thank you. Activation of the support of human forces. Thank you. Activation of spontaneous organic life energy forces. 
Thank you. Permissions are granted. Thank you. For healing to flow through. Permissions are granted for healing to flow through this group in this moment in time and forever after. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just getting permission. <clears throat> Okay, again, letting go. So your negative life pattern, um, we're looking at letting go. So, um, so you've hung on to negative experiences or people and you've thought about them so often it affects your life. So maybe you are welcoming in um, or listening to holding on to judgment about yourself. Um, it could be your self-criticism as well. So we all, you know, you can say um, negative things about yourself. You're not smart enough, good enough. I can't do it. I can't afford it. I can't. We're always saying these things about ourselves and our subconscious listens. Um, and so it shows you more of that energy. It attracts more of that energy into your life. And we just, we need to, well, Letting go will detach yourself from that energy. Um, if someone tells you you're not good enough or smart enough or doesn't hire you or um, doesn't like you or it just, um, it's, it just, it's, it's just giving you a lesson. It's just a reflection of um, maybe how you feel about yourself. And so you need to let go of um, any of that judgment that of other people's and own and really feel into yourself um, and really know well you, you say you're not good enough or you're smart enough but you really you know you are you really there's that possibility and, and it's so easy to hold on to something to keep us low and keep us small um, but we need to yeah let go of that attachment to judgment um, and then we're able to move on in our life and actually have confidence in ourselves and love ourselves and we're able to achieve amazing great things when it's coming from that place of self-love and power and um, I know my transformation has come from that as well so is it, yeah it, letting go of other people's judgments of you and just tuning into yourself and just knowing that all you need is right here and it all comes down to your self-worth of yourself your self-love your power um, okay so the emotions that we are bring so 1 to 17 8, eight again okay so sometimes we might feel helpless um, and especially in this situation at the moment where you might have lost your job, um, you, you're not getting clients, you're not getting customers, um, businesses on the downward spiral, you can't open, you're not allowed to leave your house. So you, you're feeling very helpless and that's evident. What we need to focus on is the opposite of that and that's powerful. And just know when you're going reaching out into that expanded space that anything is available for you it's all it's there already it's just about tapping into um, tuning into the, your receptors to receive the abundance that is available to you and when you when you focus that energy on feeling helpless feeling low feeling I can't do it because it's the virus it's the government I this is not like it's not my fault that's kind of the victim mentality and we, it's, it puts you on a downward spiral and when you continue to be specific about 
what is not going well in your life and that you can't control, it, it, you just continue to spiral downwards. And so what we need to do is think a little bit more broadly, more general, and, and focus your energy towards being more powerful, being um, capable. Um, and when you're on a yeah, downward spiral, always think broadly. When you're um, in general, and that kind of lifts um, your energy and it, it, it makes you feel more capable. And then when you're on that upward spiral, when you're feeling good, it pays to be uh, focused on specifics. So being really specific about what's making you feel good. Um, and that will continue your momentum in an upward spiral. So a positive emotion to focus on is powerful. Um, and knowing that you, you are responsible for your transformation. If the government told you you can't do this, 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 well, pivot. Pivot your business. Go online. Try and make it work for you. Um, no, a pity party is not going to do anyone any good. And um, I know my sister's actually uh, had to pivot and now she's her business is booming more than before so there's opportunities out there there's money out there there are people willing to spend money there are people now need different needs so it's about pivoting in the market and really um yeah not feeling sorry sorry for yourself and just finding strength to get to that point of happy medium where you have some uh capability to just think more general and and get yourself up out of that and that that's what these sessions are for to support you in in elevating your um, mental state so i um, encourage you to go back to the other days and maybe just take a take you know some time out of your day and allow yourself the healing because um, we've gone through some pretty powerful stuff so far <laughs> and uh, today's going to be big as well i can see can feel the energy already um, okay we'll move on to the belief systems negative belief system at 120 eight eight is coming up a lot eight is change change and yeah the number eight is coming up a lot yeah Eight, but for the last three so that last three have been the number eight so that's also just a sign um, that is a, like abundance where all that um, figure eight that infinity sign uh, it's really powerful to actually just make those signs with your hands around your body um, just imagining them and our body's made up of our cells of the I think it's called the, the double helix and it's just the it's, it's this motion, it's the infinity sign. So making, creating the uh, space energy around your body with the figure eight is really, really powerful in your energy, just to shift and move the energy. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling helpless, pick yourself up, stand up, and just do these figure eights around your body. That's a good trick. So negative belief system around change. How relevant is that? Um, absolutely there's a lot of change in the world and we may be feeling a little bit um, negative around it very a lot of resistance a lot of oh, a lot of change so let's embrace it let's go to a healing pathway and we are forever changing because energy is always changing at every minute uh, at every second at every moment we're changing our energy and you can choose to spiral up or spiral down um, in any moment uh, and I'm here to support you in, in changing your energy um, for, the, for the better so let's go to the healing pathways looking at principles energy physics emotions spirit soul of course we're looking at soul because self-love self-worth self-esteem is all soul based because we are a soul in a human uh, I, I believe we're a uh, soul in human form. So, looking at one to five, five to ten. Thank you. 
five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We need spiritual soul protection. Eight, 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 eight. There we go. The spiritual soul protection pathway removes the new world order, cabal, and Anunnaki inbred agendas that siphon energy and implant reversal programs that cause disempowerment, separation, struggle, exhaustion, negative mediums, and attacks. How relevant is that uh, to, with what the world's going on in the world today? It includes the restoration of light frequencies and humanity, humanity reprogramming for full advance and jealous consciousness protection. Powerful for light workers who feel an invisible force stopping them. Okay, let's go to a soul scan list. One to ten. Seven and miasms. I can read what that's about. Twenty-seven miasms uh, relates to black, frozen, or dead light generated in the damaged um, morphogenic field, which converts to an energetic waste product like toxins and feces. This waste product creates digestive mutations, digressive mutations, sorry. Uh, Lysomes can also be, ma be manipulated by the neg negative alien agenda and recoded for al to alter your DNA and RNA to generate a specific function like disease. It's not, uh, it's not, if not corrected, myosins create disease, sickness, and deterioration of the DNA and infect, infects the brain and nervous system of the planetary group systems, planetary kingdom DNA, and human DNA. So that's a little bit about myosins. Let's get an age 20 to 15, 15 to 10. Thank you. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Accessing all levels of advanced consciousness, advanced dimensions, the guardians and enlightened beings, I am to request the removal and cancellation of the soul miasms, global control systems of imposters, imposters, inverted systems, and gatekeepers of the anti-human structures embedded in this group, soul matrix and consciousness, blocking access to their full spiritual protection. Breathe. Shift. Confirm all booby traps and negative and agenda files are clear from the activation of the spiritual soul protection pathway. Thank you. Thank you. I request the cancellation and removal in this group's spiritual soul of all conditioning, programming, and implants linked to Anunnaki's genetic interference in DNA and soul. Thank you. New World Order Nazi agendas. Thank you. Negative alien entities and anti human structures. Thank you, soul energetic loose siphoning and exploitation. Thank you, manufactured booby traps, negative alien files, subtitles blocking. This group's full spiritual protection. Thank you. To allow unveiling and awareness of to truth. Thank you. Connection to the restoration of humanity. Thank you. Connection to elevated consciousness. Thank you. Full access to the protection from the guardians and ascension vortex consciousness. Thank you. Activation of universal light frequencies. Thank you. Now using your name, declare this statement out loud um, or in your head if you, if you have to. I Amber, using your name. Declare and decree that all tyranny, acts of domination, slavery, and control over my soul's free will has now ceased. I choose to release the negative effects 
and conditioning relating to age 11. I request 100% protection from the organic light sources. For my soul's freedom and sovereignty and live in oneness with humanity from this point forward. Breathe and just shake that out. Just shake it. Let that energy move. Let me know how you feel. We'll just go see if there's something else there. Principles, energy, physics, emotions. Again, eight. <laughs> Again, this is the changing sacrifice habits. Um, so this is when we give more than we receive. So that now is the time now is um, allowing yourself to give back to yourself. Give yourself the time and the space for healing, um, and and so yeah, not sacrificing yourself for others. Um, so giving it the love you need for yourself first. So just think of how you sacrifice um, yourself when you give too much um, and then you feel exhausted. Um, just think of a personal time for you. Um, and you, it might bring you down into guilt or self, low self-worth or not um, to feel valued. But like thinking about why you why you sacrifice yourself. So think about why you do this. It might it might be yeah, as I said, for guilt, self worth, to get to feel valued, or to give back, and then just ask yourself how you're going to change that. How you're going to change your self sacrificing habits? Saying no or saying yes to something or allowing yourself just to have a bath or you know doing a meditation in the morning before you get the kids up just allowing yourself to know how you're going to change that and knowing that you're not doing it to you know if you're a, a giving person you're not doing it to take that away but um as as is as a generosity thing but it is just allowing yourself to, res to respect and heal yourself in order for you to give 110%. Um, so it's giving back to yourself so that you can give um, at, a, at a higher rate, at a more fulfilled place. So I'll just repeat this statement. I, Amber, use your name, choose to safely release all sacrifice cords, beliefs, habits, rituals, debts, and feelings of guilt that is not reflecting my divine worth. I choose to know that my self-worth is not dependent on sacrificing myself. I choose to free myself from these negative connections. It is my gift to be and live in my power. Shift. Mm. That's a very relevant one for um, this day and age and our intentions. Our no, we really have to go go back and just 
look at how we are sacrificing ourselves and, and yeah, brilliant time now to really look at how you can give back to yourself. Even if you've got kids running around or housemates or partners or dogs or just thinking about ways how you can actually give back to yourself so that you can fill your vessel and pour from it. Uh, and you, don't, you can't give your energy from um, if you're not filled up yourself. And we've touched through this um, going, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs really touches on these basic um, human needs. And it is really looking at all of those, highlighting them now and going back. Oh, the basic, one of your basic needs is self-care. Um, so great opportunity now to, to focus on that. We'll just see principles, energy, physics, emotions, spirit, soul. Okay. Is this healing complete? Thank you. Can we close the case? Thank you. Mm. Request healing sound frequencies to reconnect and realign. This group's your DNA. Thank you. RNA. Thank you. Chromosomes. Wormholes. Nuclear ties. Thank you. Communication. I request the purification and cleansing process of white and gold, pure organic light. Dissolve all negative energies and attachments from this group. You. Thank you. Myself. The room that you're in, thank you. The home and the building, the surrounding area, thank you. Anything or anyone affected by this healing, thank you. I request closure and disabling health of portals, gateways, channels, sideways, and their past, and such roots, other dimensions, realities, controlling, interfering, and siphoning your soul and energy life force, thank you. I confirm that etheric, astral, mental, and causal light bodies all cleanse and strengthen all support of healing forces activated and connected to the pure organic light bodies. Thank you. I ask the guardians and angels to pour blessings upon you for all the things that you require to obtain soul freedom and sovereignty. I ask that they guide and protect you and lead you on a path of empowerment to assist with the evolution of your soul and humanity. I ask that healing may continue throughout this time and that you, you may always know that you are of divine infinite worth and hold the power of choice for your transformation. I confirm these requests have taken place and this healing is complete. And we get the shift out. Oh, let me know how you're feeling. Um, give us some love comments below I'd love to know how you're feeling after that um, if you didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing go back and give yourself that time don't sacrifice your time for your your own healing for others thank you thank you thank you for joining in um, it's been a pleasure and look forward to tomorrow for self-actualization I love you all have a great day Mwah.